Big news is coming from Tesla Fremont factory as Tesla begins gigapress manufacturing at Fremont factory and first sighting is already in action. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news coverage and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla or EV story. Joey Klender has very interesting details in today's teslarady.com saying a recent flyover of Tesla's Fremont production factor factory in Northern California has revealed the first looks at the all too elusive Gigapress as it was spotted in auction. The Gigapress is a machine Tesla is installing at its manufacturing plant to increase production efficiency and improve vehicle build quality. In fact, they want to use Gigapresses to build cars just like toys, toys in one piece. Uh, today, I just reported that the first Gigapresses came to Gigafactory Austin. They are already in Gigafactory uh, Shanghai and uh, Gigafactory Berlin is going to uh, use eight Gigapresses. And now we're learning that a flyover of the plant from a YouTuber, Gabain Cole, who provides usually Tesla information, shows several portions of the Fremont factory including offloading recently completed vehicles into hauler for customer delivery. Looking for clues that would confirm details of the rumored Model S and Model X refresh, Gabain Kahl stumbled upon something else, the Gigapress. Joey Klender says the house-sized casting machine, these are huge machines, this uh, machines, machine was installed at Tesla's Fremont factory in August 2020 a project that was confirmed by Elon Musk in a tweeter in a tweet with a Hallmars blog uh, saying will be amazing to see it in operation Musk wrote biggest casting machine ever made will make a rare body in a single piece including crash rails the machine is 64 feet long 17 feet tall and weighs 410 tons according to idra the machine manufacturer now um, tesla has long planned for this inclusion of new processes that will make manufacturing vehicles easier it is the key to delivering 1 million vehicles with only a few production plants in operation in 2021 even though two more are expected to begin operations later this year uh, Joey Klender also says at Tesla Rady that the Giga Press is part of Tesla's global plan to increase production efforts across its manufacturing facility. It has already been installed in Giga Shanghai, where Model Y production has recently started and in Giga Berlin, like I said, where the same vehicle will be prioritized uh, when production begins later this year. Parts of the Giga Press have also arrived in Austin, like I reported this morning, at Tesla's Giga Texas facility. It is a major step in the right direction for Tesla as its EVs are ahead in technology and battery quality. But manufacturing density is where Tesla lacks. Now, the only question is that in case there is an accident, God forbids, um, does that mean if this whole Tesla's body is only made of one piece, does that mean the whole body needs to be um, uh, uh, changed or uh, re, uh, re, uh, replaced if yes that will be very costly for a tesla owner right that's what other uh, car owner have raised as an issue as a question so you guys if you know anything about this please let me know in the comment section below now other car companies build 20 million vehicles a year and tesla is just a newcomer in the grand scheme of the automotive industry says so joey Klender, adding in order to catch up one on years of experience tesla has has refined its focus to improving manufacturing. The Gigapress is a way for Tesla to build more vehicles using fewer parts. It will also cut down on overall production time, allowing the company to build more vehicles every year more effectively. This is going to make the parts uh, lighter. That means more range 
and uh, more power to the car. I think I don't think there is any other company in the world that is using Giga presses as casting machines to build its parts. Everybody else is using KUKA robots that uh, Tesla has been using until recently, replacing them with these Giga presses. Well, friends, let me know what you think about these developments. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to our channel, join our community, our Tesla and EV community, ring the bell uh, so you don't miss my next Tesla or EV coverage. And I'll see you soon in our next report. Have a wonderful wonderful rest of the day. Peace be with all of you. God bless you all.